we're having a fabulous time. Whoever booked this is obviously the best of the family. There's absolutely no doubt about it. It should be awesome. Can I get a whatever she has? Yes, thank you. What did you order? Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I think this is going to be a, a nice one to watch. We had a really busy week but full of adventures and tons of fun so let's get straight into it and enjoy. Um, so Monday we started off, um, French once Shone was still in Cape Town so we were extremely extremely keen to see them again and see them as often as possible so we d drove through to Cape Town and we spent the evening at the uh, Radisson Red rooftop bar which is really great it's fantastic we had some great food nice pizzas nice snacks and uh, had a couple of GTs each so it was a really really great evening beautiful view of the waterfront not the greatest view of Table Mountain but there's other rooftop bars in Cape Town to do that it was just really fun evening seeing seeing all the mates and um, yeah I can't really complain <laughs> So on Wednesday we met up with, with an old friend and, and some great new friends which was tons of fun. We went to the Fat Butcher. Now if you're looking for the best steak in the Western Cape, Fat Butcher can't be f too far from the top of the, top of the list. Um, we, we had a great evening. Um, another great thing is Fat Butcher doesn't charge corkage so we had lots of wine, we had some Prosecco, we we just had a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, good wine, good food, and great, great company. So it was an absolute banger of an evening. So it's Friday night tonight and Vian's prepping some salmis. What have you put in them, Vian? Two cheeses, Yum. some onions, mm -hmm. tomato and a very thinly sliced pickle. Very excited. So we're going on the wine tram tomorrow and this is going to be our snacks because, you know, fuel for the wine we're going to drink. 
Are you excited, Vian? <laughs> and then I've also made us some tea in one of my cute teapots. So this is a combo of jasmine tea and green tea. So I redid my little corner here with all my... This is not all my teas, but this is most of the loose leaf tea. This is my little mug. I'm a little guy that I can drink tea in. So this is the uh, green tea that I've used and also the jasmine tea. So I think the green tea is here. Uh, green orange tea. <laughs> Very excited. So dinner, my dinner, beyond mints and the sawmies. Very cheesy. Ooh. Yummy. <laughs> oh, this will steam you. Ooh. <laughs> So it's Saturday today and we have a very fun day planned. So we're going to go on the wine tram. I'm very excited about it. I've never done the wine tram before. Have you done the wine tram before? Vian's also never done the wine tram before. So we're doing the pink route. Um, we only got an available slot at 11. So depending on what time you begin, you do more farms. So if we start at like, I think 9.30, you do six farms, but 9.30, right? 9.30 you do six farms so we start at 11 so we're only going to do four farms but I think um, four farms is quite a lot so we uh, prepared some snacks and some wraps and some sawmies and I'm taking hummus and crackers with and water so I'm very excited so, so we're going with some of our friends Zave and Tegan so um, we've actually never met Tegan before so I'm very excited to meet her <laughs> so excited to meet her and uh, it's about uh, it's almost 10 o'clock so they're gonna be here at 10 and then we need to leave for front shock because we start tramming at 11 very excited <laughs> So Saturday turned out to be one of my favorite days of the year so far um, and we did the front shock wine tram which has been on my bucket list for about seven years now so really can't complain it was an absolutely spectacular day we went from wine farm to wine farm just tasting wines and having a great day with Xavier and Tegan um, it was just so great to see them again and just spend the day with them the four farms we visited um, were, we started at Leopard's Leap, which is great, great tasting, affordable wine, beautiful setting, um, sitting inside around a bar and just, just uh, starting our day off nice and easy. Um, after that we went to Chamonix, who have some really good white wines, I was really impressed with their Chardonnay. Um, and it was just, it was just fun. Hello, all my guests now, and we'll let you take a look now. I feel I've been front there and still see the modern structure. This farm was actually conceptualized at the end. I uh, actually at the turn of the century uh, by the businessman as well as the white baker, Mr. Heinz Kuhlenberg, who is actually a son in law of the famous Rupert family. Uh, so, we actually own this farm now here. And today, they offer you exclusive range of the white wine, the red wines.
to thank you, happy to hear that. That's all I wanted to make sure you are having a great time, right? So ladies and gentlemen, as we make our way now to the next stop, which will be Chamonix. Let me just tell you quickly about the company itself, the front you went from. So the idea for this company has been around for quite some time. Registered back in 2002, but only started with the first tour in November 2012. It took 10 years of perseverance for the owner to plan and start the business. That's the reason for the number 10 you see in front of every vehicle we have on the company. That's the number of if you're looking for great wines, food, and service, then that's probably your stop, right? We're just on time, 1290, ladies and gentlemen. Your next collection time for my guest getting off of this one will be 1249 for 30 minutes and for an hour. That will be 1319, right? Back here, thanks for Up to this point, we've on, we only used the bus, and so after Chamonix, we finally got on the tram. We went to um, Rickety Bridge and Grand Provence. Those were the next two. First, it was Grand Provence, where we had a tasting with 10 different wines. Really good. Some very interesting Cabernet Sauvignon there, with a slight minty character. And, and it was a really good uh, good outing there. And we finished the day off at Rickety Bridge, under the trees. It's a beautiful farm, we love it. We've been to a couple of park walks there. Um, and and that was the tram. After the tram, we spent some time in front shook just to be okay to drive again. And um, we came back home, made dinner. Everyone took a nap before dinner, but uh, yeah, it was just a, a great day overall.
So Sunday morning after after the wine tram, we slept in a bit. I think a day with that much wine will uh, will get to anyone. So we slept in. Didn't have anything wake us up, and um, it was it was a very chilled chilled day. We decided to to go for a walk. We went to Yerstrafil in Stellenbosch and we we hiked a bit around Stellenbosch mountain which was tons of fun. We came back, completed our meal prep and just had a just had a very chill day. That's about it.